Hey guys, what is up? It is Austin here bringing you guys another video and today I'm bringing you guys some Vanguard Zombies gameplay for a very specific reason and that is Treyarch finally updated Vanguard. So we have a round based map, kind of, not really, but what you're seeing gameplay of now is Shinonuma and you might be thinking like, well, this looks like one of the regular miss missions in Shinonuma, you know, like where's the round based? Well, they added a new thing. I think it's called Void is what is the objective or whatever, but it is round-based zombies. Now, you do not get all of Shinonuma, which is very disappointing because I would have much rather just gotten the full map, but, you know, we get the spawn room, basically, and the entire spawn building of Shinonuma, but we don't get any of the other areas. We don't get the comm room. We don't get any of that, but we do have round-based zombies so that, you know, you get the wave. It's classic zombies with Boom Shriers and the Machine Gun Zombies. I can't even remember the name of them, but... We don't have any perks. There are no perks in the area, which is a big disappointment. There is a pack-a-punch machine, which is nice. And you do get points faster in this area, I find, in my opinion. After you complete, like, I think it's every three waves, you get a big, like, just dose of points, which is nice. But there's no, like, workbenches. You can't get your armor here. There's no mystery box. There's no perks. There's just the pack-a-punch, which is a massive disappointment. If it had had the perks, it would have been much better because I hate having to go back to get my perks. And what you're seeing gameplay of now is my first time in the round-based void area. But, you know, I mean, it, it's cool. Like, I mean, I'm glad we got it. We also do have a Pack-A-Punch camo. You'll be seeing it on my MP40. It's not that good, in my opinion. It's not reactive. It's not cool. Like, maybe back in the day it'd be cooler. But, you know, back in World at War, even the World at War Pack-A-Punch camo was much better than this shit. But, you know, they added a Pack-A-Punch camo. They added the round-based zombies technically. And this is what we got. I don't think they added an Easter egg. They added new voice lines. Like, if you survive a certain amount of time in Shinonuma and then you teleport back, um, you get more voice lines and you get more story. But, like, who cares about that, honestly? The story's not that interesting in Vanguard, like, at all. But I may maybe there are some story nuts out there. So if you guys enjoy the Vanguard story, I mean, all the power to you. Just me personally, does not interest me. Um, and it it's a big disappointment because I think mechanically... Vanguard does run pretty like solid in zombies like you know just mechanically not of the actual map but you know that part's fine like if we had gotten all of Shinonuma and we got the classic like system where we had the multiple rooms and we had our perks and all that and the pack punch was just in the middle like I think that would be much better and I think it'd be like a solid step in the right direction for Vanguard zombies but instead we get the spawn room the room under it and a pack a punch machine and we get round based that's it. You know, we got our camo, and apparently they did stability fixes for Vanguard Zombies, which is cool. But, I mean, I'm not going to praise them for this, because this should have been in the game on launch, 100%. Like, everything they added should have been there on launch. I know people are going to say, Activision rushed the game out early. They did not have to add as much as they did a draw on Fong. They literally, even if it was just Red Star, and it had all the perk locations, and it was round-based, it would have been better. Like, just, just simply put. But, you know, we... We shouldn't be praising them for stuff that was put in the game three months after launch that should have been there on launch, but I will say the update has made zombies a little better. Like, it's not it's not good. It's not great, but it has made it a little better. Um, but that's really all I have to say about Vanguard Zombies right now. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me on the road to 650 subscribers. Thank you for the support on the past few videos, especially the past few streams. Those have been a lot of fun. I'll probably be streaming Security Breach again here soon, but I wanted to get a Call of Duty video out because we did have some stuff go down with Vanguard Zombies, and I am a, a Zombies YouTuber, and you guys did like my last Vanguard Zombies video. So this is what they did. Uh, nothing, nothing awesome, nothing crazy, but um, it's here. So... Let me know what you guys think about Vanguard Zombies down in the comments section below. Do you like the additions? What do you think about the quote-unquote round-based zombies that is now in the game? Um, I will see you guys next time. I hope you all have an amazing day. This is Austin, and I am out. Peace, guys.